Hey guys, it is Emery and I'm up here in the hayloft with you to show you uh, what we do before we take in our hay to kind of prepare our hayloft to be able to take in all of the new hay. So uh, first and most important things we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we are clearing out as much hay as possible. Um, specifically in um, a pattern that makes sense. So you can see um, this is the front here. This is the stairs um, where we come up. And so we have all of the hay stacked up in the front here uh, where we are able to um, use the oldest stuff first. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take all of the new stuff and we're going to pull it in through here and we're going to bring it back and stack it all the way in the back where we are able to uh, then store it for next winter um, and use um, for later in the year. So you can see we are pretty empty. Uh, we have gone through majority of the hay. Um, it is, we actually cut the hay today, so um, we don't have to worry about that. Um, we are going to have enough hay, but um, we did get pretty low this year. Uh, this will be the stuff that we're going to use first. We'll probably move all of this um, within the next couple days before we manage to get the rest of the hay up here. So this will be the hay that we will continue to use first. Make sure that all of this is gone before we use all of our um, new stuff that we're going to be stacking in here. Now, uh, when you stack hay, some of the things that you have to be very aware are uh, aware of are that if it has any moisture in it, um, it can heat up and combust. So you want to make sure that there is enough room, some ventilation inside of there. Um, you'll notice we have lots of windows here, which help keep ventilation through here. And then we have um, spots like this where um, some air can get in there. You can see here uh, there's some larger cracks. We're not stacking this super, super, super tight. Um, because we do want to let a little bit of ventilation in um, because this stuff was just maybe a little bit um, a little bit damper than we wanted uh, when we stacked it. This, on the other hand, was restacked after the fact. Um, so you can see this is much, much tighter. Um, it's tight enough, in fact, that um, even when we pull out some of the lower bales, we can end up holding uh, bales just kind of hanging in midair on top of themselves. You're not going to see too many gaps in here. This is going to be uh, pretty tight. Uh, tightly packed in here. There's one. You can see there's a, we have a hole there. But um, after we restack them, uh, we don't have to be quite as careful about that. And so we uh, try to be more space efficient and make sure that we are getting all of the hay we can into this barn. So this barn uh, does hold uh, multiple um, thousand bales. Um, so we, we stack this barn pretty high, uh, full of, full of hay, um, hay bales. We did end up having to uh, re- um, brace the floor because we were stacking so much hay up here that it was actually beginning to sink um, in the middle. So we ended up re-bracing that um, a few years back when we started uh, putting, uh, filling this barn to its max. So I just want to share that with you guys and I hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you next time.